Welcome back my friends, another day, another wipe. In today's video, you will see how an oil red plays on a 700 pop server, living in between zergs and going from nothing to boxes of gear sets, making the zergs fear the oil leaks. But let's start from the beginning. The server just wiped and I'm on my way to the build spot, slapping down my usual 2x1 next to large oric and then going straight for the pump quest in fishing village. After picking up the pump shotgun, I decided to comfort heal in the fishing village and then head out for my first large run when I came across a boat. Okay. Well, that didn't go as planned. Since I lost the pump, I decided to tech tree spear gun and then head for small Ulrich to see if I could catch somebody off guard in the water. You might wonder, why is he going to a small Ulrich on a wipe, hoping to catch somebody in the water? Well, let me tell you. The higher the player count on a server, the higher the respawn rate on the crates. And since I'm playing on 700 pop, and small Ulrich has a bunch of freely available crates, people just love to hold it down and farm the crates. And the most common way to secure that juicer loot is by diving away when in danger. So I'm just hoping to catch somebody off guard with that early spear gun. Oh, da kommt gerade jemand, das geht es nicht. Ja, Junge, mach mal lieber hier kein Auge auf die Joka Slacke, Alter, die bombt dich aus dem Leben. Die Joka Slack kennt nichts. Oh mein Gott. No way. Das ist es, meine Freunde, das ist es. Da hat er nochmal kurz ein bisschen Hoffnung getankt. Weil wir ihn mies gerespawnt haben. Right now, I just depot all the unstackable items in my boat to send them away with the boat from Smolorik. In a way securing the loot as well as the transportation. And all I need to remember is the direction I need to swim to find it. Oh, let's fucking go. What's up, Neon? Moin moin. Das gibt es nicht, Junge. Man kann hier legit nicht eine Minute looten. Hätte ich eine richtige Waffe gefunden in der Zeit. Ich 
Since I couldn't really contest small Auric against three people of Thompson's, I decided to back off and depot. Let's go! Gibby, Gibby! Gimme, gimme, baby, gimme, gimme. Close one. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god, er hat rausgebeamt. Free Thompson, free Thompson. Gibi, gibi, gibi. Is under water. Stones is actually so free. Ooh. Oh my god, I wish we got a shot. After depoing this time, my neighbor started to door camp. What? Ich bin voll am Lecken, Alter. Hier okay, ist das low. Aber nicht der gleiche von eben. Wäre ich mal nicht zurückgefahren, ne? Ich glaube, ich habe ihn, oder? Ist das zusammengeklappt? Yeah, gimme, gimme. It's at this point the Junge is echt am end, am hard am end, Junge. Holy shit. Frankie, come on. 
What are you doing? What am I to donate with you? <laughs> what is Frankie doing? What's up, my boy? A few minutes after the door came, I decided to leave base for a little roam and came back to this. Nee, ich hab die base, ne? Aber nicht mehr lange, Junge. Big mistake. I left the metal door open, creating an airlock, but they soft-sided in after raiding the wooden door. In just a few minutes. But I knew something like this could happen, so I moved the good loot to a secure location beforehand. Or so I thought. Well, well, well. Perfekt. Ich glaube, wir müssen einfach von neu anfangen. Looking back, I definitely could have played it differently, but after getting fully raided, I picked up the broken pieces and moved in right next to excavator. edition And after setting up the basic camp, I went straight back to Small Orik. Okay, okay. Oh, here liegt echt eine Waffe. Oh my god, yo.
But you went ahead and so got them, so the other shit. Thanks, she had trimmed the set. Since the dude decided to flee with the mini, I knew somebody would come to take small oryx control soon, so I just waited at the bottom. After killing the Countess, I collected their guns, filled up the rip and went home to depot. I saw a little wooden base right next to my base, so I decided to open it up. Since I didn't have anything to break the TC with, I decided to go for a recycle run in Excavator. Oh my god. Das ist ja anders weg. Der sogar eine Waffe, nee, der hat gar keine Waffe. This kill was huge. He had enough scrap on him for a tier 2 workbench, some incendiary shells for the locked TC, and a good amount of cloth. Der Typ hat 20 Diesel in seiner Welt. So after gaining all this Diesel, I decided to farm a little more metal by turning on the excavator again. Ich hab 1000 Metal Frags, holy shit. Ich 
auf das hier in die Mitte auf den Boden. Darf mir nicht vergessen. Da zwischen den Hügeln. Nur wie schnell das geht. Holy shit. Ich pack das andere woanders. Ich pack das hier. Stimmt, 5k aus einem Diesel. Jo, das ist es. Das ist es wirklich. So machen wir unser Weg. Oh, no! Ich sehe ihn halt nicht mal. Bei mir nicht, hol einfach gleich wieder zwei Diesel. Holy shit. Ich gehört das echt so gottlos, holy fuck. Der hebt den gerade, glaube ich, auf, oder? Ist egal. So, after all this scrubbing, I decided to come back with a Thompson and pick up the rest of the metal and bring it home. Right after finishing the base upgrades, I heard some commotion on large Ori and went to investigate. Natürlich sind die mit Mini hier. Es lief aber nur einer mit Mini. Oh, er überlegt. Der überlegt nicht. Gimme, gimme. Was habt ihr davon, dass ihr so dip wie so kleine Ratten? That was not what I'd hoped for. So I depot most of the loot in the rip and went straight for a small Auric PvP. Wants to smoke, Junge. Who? Who, Junge? Was los? 
That is no joke. It put me nicks. Ah, rip, Alter. Rip. Oh, das Matt hätte doch durchgehen können, Junge. What the fuck? Sag mir, der hat ein Matt gekriegt. Junge, lass dich wieder an der Leiter hängen, Alter. After killing the trio, I went down to the ground of the sea and searched for the guns. And when I came back up, there was more people. It is what it is. Ja, sogar mehr Small Loot als die anderen beiden. Oh mein Gott, die kommen glaube ich aus dem Lab. Junge, es ist so viel. Verdammt nochmal, es ist zu viel, Junge. Okay, ich gehe nach Hause. Oh no. That guy somehow managed to hit me from like 70 meters straight into the back with his spear gun. But it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Straight back to excavator grubbing. No, der ist direkt da, Alter. Fuck, Junge. Ich wollte den BM. Er ist direkt da gewesen, Junge. Schade, Junge. Schade. Gut. Perfekt. A little sus, not gonna lie, but this was my first encounter with the Chinese Zerg next door. And after the lose, I decided to go for some underwater lab grubbing. Was sagst du eigentlich zum neuen Zweck? Findest du es gut mit den größeren Kisten und dem neuen Open System? Jo, what the fuck? Oh mein Gott!
Let's go! These kills were stacked, so I deep at home and went for some more PvP on Large Ulrik. Einfach irgendwas. Deswegen, meine Freunde. Wie man Incendiary Ammo. Weil der Shit ist einfach nicht balanced. Where are you going, buddy? After killing these people and gaining a full kit, I started working on the electricity for my base, which turned out to be harder than I thought. So. Also, gucken, dass sie schön parallel sind draußen. Okay. Turns out, that was never the problem. The frame windmill just got removed from the game and now you need to place floors below it again to make the stability work. Since I was getting more loaded by the hour, these auto turrets were essential for raid defense. And after setting them up, I went for a recycle run in outpost. After making it home safely, I finished minor peaks. At this point, I had a full metal base with inner peaks, auto turrets and a locker room. I felt pretty secure. So I started flexing my riches in a shop, named after my next door neighbors, the Chinese Zerg. But not only that, since it was for swipe, the Chinese were selling guns for scrap to make it easier for the whole group to gain blueprints. So I started undercutting them, just by a little bit, but enough to steal their customers. I think they didn't like that. What the fuck? I think we're getting raided. We are getting raided. <laughs> oh shit. Where 
they definitely have to close some door this Als ob die genau den Part erwischt haben, wo kein Hechtstürm ist. Das ist wirklich sehr unfortunate. Shit is not good. <laughs> Aber wir haben den Main Schuss hier oben. Wir sind so arm unten drin. Top out. Oh fuck you what? Holy shit. Never mind. No more to out. They are going up. Ay, 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 ay. Uh oh. Das gibt es nicht. Er blockt sie einfach. Na, no, so close. At this point, the Chinese had already taken control over my main TC and were now blowing out one of my outer TCs, which I gotta say was a smart move, because now they were able to place their own TC and remove my possibility of sealing. I 
Oh. Jetzt habe ich kein Building Bridge mehr. Even though they had TC, I knew they would start blowing up eventually because the main loot was still in the vending machines on top. So I prepared myself as good as I could. Das hört sich gar nicht gut an. Warum die gelbe Schlag kann ich? Auf jeden Fall nicht mehr aufmachen, Junge. What the fuck, Alter? Und sind zehn Leute, Junge. Oh. Ich muss das LMG nachladen, aber dringend. Ja, Junge, dass ich nicht mehr bauen kann, ist so fucked. Die werden sich jetzt alle hochbauen, Alter, wie die Ameisen, Junge. Ich hätte nicht reinpicken sollen. 30 Sekunden Timer. This is our final stand, my friends. Die springen ihre eigene Leder, die Bots. Oh, oh, oh. What are you gonna do? Das Tor zu spielen. Das bringt den Legend nicht. MC Turtle ist holding on steady, Junge, let's go. Oh, wait. Auch mehr Backs drin. At this point, the Chinese realized they wouldn't get any further by just going through the peaks, so they started blowing from below as well. Oh, ich glaube, die haben zu viel. Oh, ich kann gar keine wegsplacen, true. Das sind solche
Holy fuck, Alter, sind das noch viele. Ich kann euch nicht placen, Junge. Könnte ich placen, wäre das so over für die, Junge. Ich würde ja Wale einzielen, Junge. Und dann einzeln schön ausräuchern. Alter. God damn it, holy shit. GG's. At this point, they had full control over the base, so the raid was over. But of course, big respect and GG's to the Raiders for onlining. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, a sub and a like would be appreciated. As always, it was a pleasure. See you in the next one.